A zombie epidemic has broken out, leaving the entire city in ruins, with bloodthirsty zombies roaming everywhere. Can the few lucky survivors escape this horrifying scene? Don't miss out on this movie. In a city in the Philippines, a sudden outbreak of a mutated virus causes den fever, and the death toll is rising. The morgue at the hospital is filled with corpses. The exhausted doctor places the patient on the deathbed. But after he finishes a phone call, he discovers that the body has disappeared. The doctor is taken aback. He slowly approaches the deathbed and discovers that the girl from earlier has come back to life. No one could have predicted that the virus would mutate again. It not only brings the dead back to life, but also has a strong attack power and transmission rate. Violent incidents are happening all over the city. An unprecedented chaos in history has begun. There's a deafening alarm in the prison. And then the prison doors open, and the frenzied prisoners run out. But then they run back in with terrified expressions. It turns out that there are several people infected. With the mutated virus in front of the prison, they're like wild beasts gone mad, biting anyone they see. Even the jailers. The protagonist, Emin, tries to calm down and stay composed. He realizes that if he flees with the crowd, he will eventually get bitten. So he goes against the crowd, opening up a new path to survival. His identity as a special forces soldier is his trump card, giving him confidence. With his robust and agile body, no zombie infected with the virus can get close to him. His prison mate, Timoy, also closely follows behind, completely avoiding any attacks. The two of them finally escape the prison safely. Knowing they're not truly safe yet, they quickly hijack a truck. They hit the gas hard, driving away from the terrifying prison. Upon reaching a safe stretch of road, Emin immediately calls his wife. But to his surprise, the call remains unreachable. This gives him a bad feeling. So he urgently wants to go home to see his wife. Timoy's family isn't in this city. So he decides to go with Emin to his house. The two quickly drive into the city. The desolate streets making them even more fearful. Agencies continuously broadcast over the radio that the virus has become uncontrollable, advising everyone to stay at home and not make any noise. As the infected have very sensitive hearing, seeing the road ahead blocked, Emin decides to walk home in a hurry. But everywhere there are infected people, even a tall man like Emin feels terrified. They quickly change out of their prison clothes and go down into the sewer intending to use this route to get home. But the blood stains on the ground indicate that the sewer is not safe either. In the dark corner, there are many infected people standing. But it's quite quiet here and they're always in a dormant state. Emin is relieved the infected are indeed sensitive to sound. So he slowly and gently walks past them while passing. He doesn't dare make any noise. They finally pass through the sewer safely and arrive under Emin's house. There are quite a few infected people here, and though getting close to them gives one goosebumps, they still have to grit their teeth and pass by. Suddenly, the two of them discover a lucky boy who survived, hiding in a barrel in the hallway. They continuously gesture for the boy to come to them quietly, knowing that staying in one place would mean certain death. Encouraged by the two, the boy bravely steps out of the barrel. Unexpectedly, a zombie at the end of the hallway suddenly stands up and roars instantly alarming all the zombies. The two risk their lives to pull the boy and run. Seeing the enemy about to catch up, Emin grabs a fire extinguisher from the wall and sprays it forcefully at them. The hallway is suddenly engulfed in a thick white smoke, which also causes the infected to lose their target. Emin, axe in hand, moves forward. Encountering lone infected individuals, he swings his axe, beheading them. He quickly clears a path to escape, but the thick smoke doesn't last long. Before it starts to dissipate, and everyone can see clearly again, the infected fall into a state of frenzy once more. Fortunately, Emin has reached his house and pulls the remaining two inside. It's a struggle to close the door, but Emin can't feel relieved because he can't find his wife and child no matter where he looks. Emin looks at the family photos with a gentle gaze, but his heart is filled with pain. They're probably more bad than good. At this moment, the boy speaks up, revealing that he also lives in this apartment building and naturally knows Emin's wife and daughter. In the afternoon, when the virus was spreading aggressively, he saw Emin's family running to the third floor with his own eyes. Emin's eyes lit up. Could it be that his wife and child were still alive? So he immediately decided to go up to the third floor. There were still many infected people on the way. But as long as they didn't make a sound, reaching the destination safely wasn't a big issue. Unexpectedly, halfway there, the boy saw his infected mother. Timoy noticed and pulled the boy back, telling him not to move forward and surrender. On the other hand, Emin also noticed that his companion was missing, so he decided to turn back and look for them. Unexpectedly, he didn't find Timoy but found the wife he missed day and night. It turns out that Emin's wife had escaped the first attack at noon, but she couldn't let go of her missing child, so she left the shelter alone. Unexpectedly, after only a few steps, 
she encountered an infected person who was pacing back and forth. The wife was scared and dared not breathe heavily, just as she was about to turn back. She found another infected person following her from behind. Like this, she was essentially trapped in the middle of the road. The wife felt desperate and fainted. When she woke up, she was lucky to see two infected people fall to the ground because they were fighting each other. She was only injured because a nail had pierced her. The girl was about to continue her journey with joy. But then she saw a shadow slowly approaching. Fortunately, it was not an infected person, but her husband who intentionally came back to find her. The two of them suppressed their joy of reunion and hid in an empty house. Behind them, a horde of infected people are frantically chasing. At this moment, Emin disregards them and only cares about his wife's injury. After bandaging the wound, he learns from his wife that their daughter has gone missing. Outside, they are completely surrounded by the infected, not to mention going outside to look for people. They could even be attacked by the infected breaking in. Timmy, hiding in a nearby room, also realizes the dire situation. For his close prison friend and the boy in front of him, he can only try his best. He rushes out of the room, deliberately making noise with an iron rod to lure all the zombies outside. Everyone knows his fate. He eventually becomes food for the infected. And then his wife and the boy manage to escape thanks to this. They want to leave this apartment building, but unexpectedly, there are also zombies rushing up from below. They are trapped on the third floor and can only knock on each door. Finally, a house lets them in. It turns out this is the home of a local police officer, where several lucky survivors have gathered. Unexpectedly, the boy that Emin saved is the son of the police officer. This might be the reward for being a good person. Emin and his wife discovered their missing daughter in a room. It turns out the girl was saved by the police officer. When he went out to look for his son, the two families gratefully thank each other. But they quickly have to think hard. Because there are too many people here and not enough supplies, so they have to escape quickly. Fortunately, this police officer also has many weapons. Everyone quickly packs up, preparing to leave. Unfortunately, at this moment, the police officer discovers his son has been infected. Initially, he wanted to hide this fact. But the boy quickly lost consciousness and rushed into the crowd. Emin quickly shot the boy dead. The gunshot immediately alarmed the zombies in the building. And it also destroyed the last bit of rationality in the police officer. His son was dead and he wanted everyone else to die with him. He shot and killed the survivors. Meanwhile, Emin took this opportunity to get his wife and child out of the room. The noise from the struggle attracted the zombies in the vicinity. Emin knew that now he only had one option, to risk his life. After letting his wife and child escape, he raised his rifle and started shooting wildly at the zombies. At this moment, he was like a war god. With his wife and child behind him, he didn't retreat but fought back, killing any zombies that dared to approach. When he ran out of bullets in his rifle, he pulled out his pistol. His efficiency in killing zombies didn't decrease. When he ran out of bullets in his pistol, he pulled out his machete. It turns out that close combat was Emin's real strength. After defeating all the zombies, Emin realized that he couldn't find his wife and child anywhere. He ran through all the floors but couldn't find any trace of them. He was very confused and didn't know what to do. It turns out that his wife and child were discovered by the vengeful police officer earlier. The girl quickly shone a flashlight directly into his eyes. Meanwhile, the mother unleashed all her strength. In the midst of a dispute, she managed to snatch the police officer's gun. Then she shot and killed the opponent. The noise from the struggle attracted the infected around them. The mother and child got lost from each other again, fortunately. After a while, Emin found his daughter hiding in a corner. After some comforting and encouragement, Emin managed to bring his distraught daughter back to his side. As the father and daughter were embracing, another infected person emerged from the darkness. Luckily, the wife arrived in time and used the gun to eliminate the imminent danger. Finally, the family of three was reunited. Emin tried to smile and told his wife that there was a parked truck nearby. The keys were in the truck, and he would not be going with them anymore. Because earlier in the fight, Emin was carelessly bitten by a zombie. Tears filled his wife's eyes as she pleaded with him to come with them. But Emin was afraid that after he turned, he would hurt his daughter. Despite his reluctance, he was determined to let his wife and child leave. By now, the entire city had turned into ruins and everywhere there were infected people who had lost their consciousness. The mother and child went through the sewer under the ground, conveniently found the truck, while Emin also began to turn. 